super easy knit sewing today a top and a dress same pattern of course only two pattern pieces a front and a back on the fold easy v neckline binding easier than you think easy v neck binding easier than you think and i'm showing you how stay with me hi sewing friends i'm karina from liftingpinsandneedles.com welcome to this channel that is all about sewing limitless sewing in this episode i have some super easy knit sewing for you if you are newer to this beautiful craft you are going to be able to make this for sure the fit is outstanding and there's only a few pattern pieces actually only two main pattern pieces a front and a back on the fold what is this <laughs> this is the new solar top from each to stitch i've been testing this for a few days it is a relatively simple design but that has enough details there to make it special and totally worth sewing along with the amazing fit that you always get with each to stitch patterns so in the liner you can see that there is a v-neckline it's not finished with a typical v neck band i know that is a technique that a lot of you struggle with or are scared to do because it involves pivoting and snipping and you know the little v anyway this one's finished in a totally different way that is much easier to achieve it's really narrow also which makes it look nice and delicate the depth is not low it's just right it's not too wide either here you can see the version that Kenneth made she's a designer and owner of each to stitch she made it in a solid which is amazing because you can really see the features there so nice a basic with a twist i think the gathers here on the upper chest are amazing that is the main feature that at least brought me in to want to make this pattern you know and then there's no sleeves to set in or anything like that because it's part of the front and the back pieces just like a drop shoulder integrated piece nice and snug around here you won't be showing any of your armpit or anything like that at all the hem of this area is also finished with the same binding technique as the neckline super easy lovely shaping it is a fitted design and you can make either a top or a dress both are in the same pattern pieces it's just a different cut line there for you to choose what you want it is for neat fabrics as i mentioned you cannot make this in a woven fabric make sure it stretches 50 percent horizontally and vertically so that you're comfortable and you can go light medium medium to heavy i wouldn't go too heavy for example i have different types of weights in ponte roma and i know there's a few that are just way too stiff and way too heavy for it but i've got others that are a little bit softer i've got a little graphic there for you to see maybe there's one fabric i would not use at all for this and that is ity i think it's way too thin way too clingy i wouldn't even use it for the top at least you had a heavier type but in general, I would stay away from ITY. Rayon spandex is also pretty lightweight and I think I would be happy to make just the top with that, but not a full dress. Just because of the way the fabric will cling to your bottom and the hips, unless you want to wear a slip underneath, you know, this is not a type of dress that you want to line like other types of dresses. So I have used rayon spandex for the top version that I made. You can see it here black and white I actually got quite nauseous and dizzy while I was sewing this because yeah I hope it doesn't make you dizzy but I think it's striking <laughs> and then for my dress I chose a medium weight athletic knit perfect for this type of dress it's really really stretchy but it's not like really tight like I would want it to be for leggings you know so lovely print I, you can see it right there it does have a bit of drape you don't really need drape for this design because it is fitted i always try to show you at least two fabric types so you can see the difference but then i'm just one person and i usually can sew a maximum of two garments you know because the solar top and dress is a brand new pattern it is 20 percent off during the first week during its release that goes through next wednesday the 27th of july so if you want to get it for a little bit less it's always great to get it on release week also you can see a lot of the versions that other testers have made to get inspired to see if something that would suit you that you would like to do if it's something that would suit you and you'd like to try it's also great to see all the different types of fabrics that different people use i always try to i always try to show you at least two types of fabric type find my affiliate link in the description box below i also always put it in the pinned comment if it's easier for you to find it there you just click there it will take you direct to the pattern and i do receive a small commission if you use my link that is one way that i try to make an income sewing on the internet <laughs> For the sizing it comes from sizes 00 to 40 us for this one we don't have bust options but from what i can see in the pattern test i could actually see the pictures of all the testers everyone looked amazing whatever bust size you were it's just so well made so well drafted sometimes with dolman sleeves you get pleats here above the bust 
didn't get that at all with this design it's just really really nice and smooth and fitted around here I really like that when you look at body measurements on the charts and then finished garment measurements you get around zero ease at the bust which means that the garment measures what your bust measures then you have a bit of space at the waist around three and some inches and then going down to the hips again you have zero ease it is a fitted design so if you choose the size correctly for your body and if you need several sizes you blend accordingly you will have a fitted look it's up to you whether you want it loose or not and blend out to a larger hip if you don't want it that tight those are your own decisions but i think up here you shouldn't size up around this area you want the neck everything to lie nice and flat and be nice and fitted right up here on this area then to the waist and hips i think you could have a bit of creativity if you wanted it less fitted you know you could just go and make your line smoother and go to the next line if you want to in my case i like my fitted designs especially the dress it is a medium weight fabric it can take the fitted design and i'm okay with zero ease at the hips with fabrics like this not with ity or rayon spandex though <laughs> so for me i chose a size 16 as my base for my bust and my hips but then i blended into a 14 at the waist just to customize the fit a little better to my body and i really want that if i'm going to wear something fitted so that's all other than that the only fitting adjustments i made were length adjustments i am taller so i do expect to add length here and there for the top i made it one and a half inches longer I just added that at the hemline of the cut line, that's all. But for the dress, I did use the official shorten and lengthen line that you have below. And I added two and a half inches there. I really needed that so the dress would be above the knee or else I would end up with a mini dress. And, and that's not my goal. I just cannot rock the mini dresses anymore. Although I used to wear them a lot in my 20s and 30s. Now in my 40s, I think above the knee is okay. <laughs> the sewing segment is not too long. This is not hard to sew. And I'm focusing here on main sewing construction in regards to the neckline and the binding. You'll see how easy it is. Once you figure out how to do the binding for the neckline, it's the same technique for this area of the sleeve. Even easier because you don't have the V shape. You just, it's a round thing. So... You have definitely seen this binding technique before on my channel. I have shown it with other projects, but I did film it here in full on detail using a contrasting fabric as well so that you can see what I'm doing. I am leaving you a link of my leather look jersey. I find that here everywhere, but I was able to find a link in the US online shop. I can't remember the shop, not affiliated at all, but I did find the type of fabric that I use for binding. If you want to check it out, the link is down below. So let's hop into the fun sewing and then I'll show you my top and my dress. There are only two pattern pieces here, so it's very easy to cut. Both are on the fold. This is the front, that is the back. You can see the shape of the V neckline and round it at the back. Here on the upper chest, you have these elastics that you cut out. Those you stretch into this area and that will give you that slight gathering there in that area. Super nice. You can see there's no sleeve piece. It's just like a grown on sleeve, side seams. These are binding pieces, I'm doing them with a contrasting fabric and this long one is going to be for the neckline. The two short ones will finish the hem of the sleeves. These are the two elastic pieces that will go on the upper chest area and there is a little pattern piece for it according to your bust size. So if you're blending sizes and have a different hip size for example, don't use that. That's a little longer, use the size you're using for your bust. And you can see that I cut my elastic a little bit longer because I want mine to protrude by 3 8 on each end just to make it easier to stretch. But I will cut that off once I've sewn it. What I'm going to do is fold this elastic in half and just put a little pin there as a reference. Here I have one side of the front. This is the shoulder right there and the mark is a little below that, the upper chest area. You can see the V neckline shape right there and I've got it marked with a friction pen. I've marked the middle point there as well and I'm just going to match that up to where I pin on my elastic and I'll just center that right there. Remember I cut these 3 8 longer on each side so I'm going to let that hang by 3 8 and pin there because that's where I'm going to start sewing. I just don't want to start sewing with the elastic right against there because it can move. And then on this side also, I'm going to let it hang by the 3 8 right there. Now we're going to sew this on looking at it from the wrong side and just stretch the elastic to match and zigzag it on. I'm using a jersey needle number 80. This is a rayon spandex. It's not too heavy, so I think that'll be fine. This is my zigzag stitch. It'll just be a medium one, not too big, not too little. 
So without stretching, I'm just going to put my presser foot on top and put the needle in so it starts right there on the edge. Get rid of this pin and then I'm going to stretch. And I'll have this elastic centered over the line I've made right there. And just zigzag. Okay, and now this is where I'm going to cut off that excess elastic I had there just to make it easier. Same as on this side right here. Then this is how it looks from the right side of the fabric. So it's gathered, but it's not hugely gathered making this super narrow like that. It's just a really nice detail. And you can see it because my print has black and white, but I don't mind, I think it looks cute. The next step is super easy. Just put the shoulders together front and back there and serge them. I'm going to be doing the main seams on the serger. Here are the shoulder seams sewn. This is the back neckline and I've put a pin in the center of the back. This is easy to see that that's the center because that's a V. If you then join these two like that, you get the other quarters and I've marked them right there with pins. So once that's marked, just leave them like that. But to finish the V, we just need to do a little bit of stay stitching right there. So for about an inch there and an inch here, we're gonna sew with a straight stitch. I'll just get a friction pen and mark my pivot point here. So it's basically the intersection of 3 8 here and 3 8 there. That's where we pivot with the stay stitch. Then we can snip into there. We just stay stitch about an inch from the pivot point on both sides. And then we can snip into that dot and extend this. So in essence, it'll be just like sewing a straight line. I've got the neck binding here and I've just joined the short ends together. I'm going to sew them with 3 8 seam allowance and then open up those seam allowances. I've chosen one of the long ends and I've searched it so it's neat inside, otherwise it would just end up being raw. I've done the same for the binding that's going to finish the hem of the sleeves. I'm going to leave the seam at the center back, so I'll just put pins and divide this in four so I can match it to the neckline. And what we're going to sew onto the neckline is the raw edge, the one that's not surged. So this will be in the center front. We meet those up in the middle and we get the other quarter points. The way we sew the binding on this pattern is really easy because you don't have to do that V type of neckband. I'm going to find the pin that marks the center of the front. That's going to mark the center of the back and just align them. So this is going to allow us to just sew this straight. So I'm going to put the pin right here where I snip and then match this quarter to this quarter over here and I'm pinning on the long end that doesn't have the serging done. So just the raw edge. As you can see the binding is a little shorter so you do need to stretch it but for the section of the V I do want to sew it in this way. So I'm just going to sew that little bit right there so that I know what I see and I don't get a pucker there so I can sew that straight. Then I'm going to flip it and start sewing all the way around with the binding on top instead. So I'm sewing this little section where the V is with the neckline on top and the binding on the bottom just for a so short section. I'm using an arrow zigzag and I'm just sewing right on top of where I stay stitched before. Now that I've sewn this little bit, then I'm going to flip it and sew the rest. The rest I'll sew with the binding on top so I can stretch it slightly to meet the neckline every quarter. And it's all sewn with a 3 8 seam allowance and the narrow zigzag stitch. But here you can see where I've got this quarter and how much shorter the binding is. So I stretch to match and just sew it on. Okay, so the binding is sewn all the way around and we just treat this the same now. We just bring this over, covering the seam allowance and this edge that I searched is just going to cover that seam slightly. And the part where the V is, we just treat it like it's just a straight edge. 
I am going to leave a little pin here so that I know that is the middle of the center for when we do one little stitch later. But basically we need to stitch in the ditch now. Make sure that covers the seam. And now from the right side we sew right in there all the way around. I'm going to go ahead and hand base this first so that I know that when I stitch in the ditch here I am catching the binding on the other side. I've done the hand basting a little below where I'm going to sew right there and where I hand basted I made sure to catch the binding on the other side. So I'm actually just going to use my normal presser foot. I'm just going to sew really really slow and just make sure the needle falls right between the binding and the fabric. It's sort of like stitching in the ditch but without the presser foot. So that's how that looks. It looks really neat. It's perfectly doable if you just use a normal presser foot. I find it easier to manage that way rather than using the presser foot. So I've sewn the whole binding. Everything is caught under there. And because I did the basting a little bit away from where I was planning to sew, it's just really easy to grab this and just whip it out. It'll be out in a second. Okay, I had made a mark there where the center front is, right there. So if we fold these right sides together, being that mark in the center. Now we can do a little stitch like that and that is going to form the V. So from this folded edge, it's basically just sewing straight up like that. So you form a little triangle. I left a lot of thread there so I can knot that by hand so it doesn't get bulky. And then there is the little V on this side, very neat. After finishing the V neck binding, it's super easy. Just sew your side seams and then you can repeat the binding on the edge of the sleeves. The binding there is the exact same thing that we've done now, except for the little V part, so it's much easier. And then you hem and you're done. I've had this fabric since the end of 2020. I remember really, really well when I bought it and yeah, I felt inspired to use it. I really didn't want to sew a solid. I was totally not inspired. I guess prints inspire me always and this is really cool. I love the print because it's sort of wavy and it's not symmetrical. This is 100% a print that calls to me. There's no stripes. I just love it. It's so nice. Rayon spandex. This is a little heavier than other rayon spandex fabrics I have in my collection. So that's why I thought it was okay for a top. And maybe you can see the gathering detail right there. For sure you could see it better with a solid but it's still there and I think it's amazing. Little V neckline that is super easy to sew. You can see how neat that is. I love the look of this leather look jersey. I think it always elevates any garment that I make and just makes it look a little nicer, <laughs> in my opinion. And here is the same technique done on the end of the sleeve. It's a short dolman type sleeve or drop shoulder type of situation here, super easy. Just shoulder seams and side seams basically and then your binding. Very nice, very relaxing. No seam on the back, no seam on the front, and just a twin needle hem. Continuing with my love of red, black, and white, I have paired it with my red Quebec skirt, also from Each to Stitch. I think they look great together. And yeah, let's see how it fits. This is my first solar top from Each to Stitch in a size 16. I blended into a 14 waist. It's a really dizzy print. You'll see it up closer in a bit, black and white. This is a rayon spandex. There are only two pattern pieces here, both on the fold, easy to sew. I did add one and a half inches of length to mine just to account for my height. I really like the fit. There's a little bit of space at the waist, but pretty much fitted. I really like the V neckline and this type of sleeve that is just an extension from the front and back piece. I made the V with contrasting leather look jersey just to highlight the pretty shape and here up closer you can see that gathering detail on the upper chest. There's a little bit of elastic in there and I think it's a lovely lovely detail that gives this simple top something special. I really love the fit of the sleeve right there. There's no pleats above my bust. I think the fit is amazing. It takes so little fabric and the technique is so easy. This one took about one hour to sew, including all the hand basting that I do and all the extra steps. So definitely a great project.
is my dress. I love it so much. This print is amazing. It's got several colors, but from far away, the colors that mostly stand out are the pink tones with a little bit of the black background. Here you can see the detail of the gathering here on the upper chest. I did the exact same fabric for the binding. I also wanted to highlight how narrow this binding is. I think it really contributes to this being delicate here on the top. I did a regular band that was wider. I think this would look more informal. Just my opinion, I really like this technique. And it was super easy to make. Second time around, not filming. <laughs> Took about an hour to sew, including all the hand basting and everything you saw me do in the tutorial. I did the exact same process, no shortcuts. I don't do shortcuts. I just really want my garments to look the best they can. So you'll see the hand basting all the time. <laughs> it's just one way to prevent seam ripping. Maybe you have to seam rip a little, but not that much. One thing I didn't mention, this elastic. In the instructions, it says it has to be clear elastic. The clear elastic I have is a really stiff one. It doesn't even stretch. It's the ones that you use to make swimsuits and stabilize sports bras inside. You know, it's not stretchy. I can't source that type of stretchy clear elastic. So I used regular elastic, <laughs> 3 eighths of an inch wide. It worked just as well. And this is not abrasive on my skin here on this area. I don't feel it. It doesn't bother me at all. So that is how that looks inside. It just brings it in and I think it's really cool. Even though this print is busy, I think you can still see it. You'll see it in the lookbook. But that's how that looks. Shoulder seams, side seams, so easy. Lots done with the serger, you know. In there you have that little seam that makes a V and you just press it flat and that's it. Easy peasy. Let's see this one on. Simple styling, pink handbag. I've decided to start showing you my handbags because I love them. I have so many of them and they're pretty. They're not designer. I mean, they're local designer brands from Brazil, but not like, you will never see me with one of those. This is my solar dress from each to stitch in a size 16. I blended into a 14 waist there just to get a better fit. And this is an athletic knit. I had to add about two and a half inches to the length to get the dress to be above my knee or else it would have been too short. It's the same silhouette as the top. I love this fitted design. This takes about 1.1 meters to make in my size. with a little bit of space at the waist and tiny little bit of space at the hips. And I really love this print with the pink. Comfy fit. This is the type of dress I love wearing. Perfect for a fabric that's a little heavier. I also made the binding here with leather look jersey just to highlight it. This is how it looks at the back. It's very simple, both pieces on the fold and up closer you can see this binding. That is not a hard technique, it's really really easy and I love that little gathered detail. I think you can still see it even though I chose a super busy print. The detail is there and I really really love it see the little zigzag stitch holding the elastic in there. In this area of my body, the elastic I use doesn't bother me. I super love the style. You know, even though it is simple, I think the fit is outstanding and there's just enough details here to make it fun while keeping it relaxed. Love that. so happy to get back into sewing. If you saw one of my previous videos, I mentioned I hadn't sewn for two weeks. We had a short family trip to visit Sao Paulo and then Rio. And yeah, two weeks without sewing, I tackled these and I so love them. When you've had a break, but then you need a vacation from the vacation, it's nice to ease into sewing with something like this. Loved it. So great, great projects, really enjoyed them. After sewing the top, trying it on, I was so happy with the fit. I knew I had to make a dress for sure. And yeah, I would recommend, if you are newer to sewing, you will really enjoy this. And if you are very experienced, you're gonna enjoy it anyway, because it's super nice. I think what gives this pattern a lot of points is the amazing fit. 
and the little details like the little fine binding and it's like gathering up here makes it look really cute love it don't forget that the solar is 20% off through the first week find my affiliate link down below if you would like to get the pattern for yourself and that is all from me I'll see you back here at lifting pins and needles with more sewing very soon make sure you're subscribed bye